Welcome back to learning how to play Age of Wonders 4. And we're just about to leave these underground caverns to return back to the overworld. However, I noticed something queer. Uh, if I click on this here, uh, which is our outpost, which we built so we can claim a province around it. I can't claim this one. Which we would need to get the Haunted Halls bonuses. Which was the whole point of this. So instead of using this to get a thing now, we will simply go ahead and build some stone walls and a watchtower and just pump this uh, outpost to be outposty. I think they're building an outpost here currently too. Uh, well, no, they're actually excavating this. They can't build an outpost. This is not a hero. Only heroes can build outposts. But we can see this little waiting thim symbol and they're blowing some dust around. I was figuring for a moment maybe I need to excavate this. So I could, but it doesn't make sense. You can clearly see these outlines here. So I don't know what's going on. Why can't we claim this? No idea. Right, let's uh, head back over ground. Now, this is a bit finicky sometimes. We need to select the underground passage, which is under our unit. So clicking twice on the same thing sometimes works, not always works. <clears throat> it's not ideal. Truly not ideal. Now, what would we want to do upstairs? Uh, actually, we might want to go and attack Graktur. But we have this quest here to obtain a focus crystal. So I think we're going to go there, clear out the giant bird nest and build an outpost there. Um, that's basically the plan at this point. So let's move our troops up and out. And let's get these boys up and out and combine these troops and move them forward as we shall. Let's get our army here up and out and forward as well. So that's looking good. Now we have two armies at this point. One of them has no hero. One of them has two heroes. We should combine those up in a little bit. But for now as we move that doesn't really matter. Something I've seen the AI do. Because these units often have different movement speeds and ranges they can go. They split up their armies as they move uh, to get the maximum range. Uh, if, if you want to do that, sure, you probably can. Personally, I am not a fan of that, so I don't do that. Because that's a lot of micromanagey, finicky, 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 finicky thing. So let's move our reinforcements over here. Let's... Oh, yeah. Let's enchant our... Guys, let's get the awaken tools thing so we can boost our cities and let's start the enchantment on our c scout units which costs us very little but increases their vision range and they get little cute crows flowing around them which is always cool. We can annex a new province which is fantastic. You can now see our Imperium skill really coming into effect with the plus two range on what we can annex. And I think I want to go a little bit in this direction because there is uh, this research post thing. Well, actually, uh, there is an enemy coming in, basically, what's happening here. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's establish some borders here so they can't pass beyond those. Let's check what we would need. We can check in our special improvement provinces, for example. So we have a bunch of forests here where we could put the wildlife sanctuary, which is, uh, which is nice. We... Uh, could have another quarry and upgrade it to this. Uh, we could do a levy camp, which definitely goes down where all of our farms are, s well, used to be sitting. Uh, I think I split it up by having a forester here. And these really work with adjacent farms, I think. Does it? No, actually, this one doesn't require... Oh, no, no, there it says, per adjacent farm you get plus five. So, um, right now we have, like, these farms... And then there's a quarry, and then there's a farm again. So that, that's not really ideal to get the most kind of out of it. We would want to put it like here and have this a farm too. So we have these farms here, basically. Um, going for fish is also kind of attractive, but this we can always do. So what we are going to do instead of all of what I just said is we're going to build a quarry here. And we're meeting this... Uh, lady which lives over there i think well no that's a neutral city so let's uh, let's see what and how they do oh yeah that's actually them and we're the only people they're in contact with so we could um integrate them so let's give them a whispering stone let's make friends 
That's good. That's definitely better than a uh, angry little player continent sitting there. So that's decent. Uh, and now we switch out this quarry here. As I said, we don't need it to get the iron deposit. We'll just replace it with a farm. And now we can upgrade this farm here to be the the royal pasture thingy here, the, the levy camp, which will be a farm and it will be better than a basic farm. So you got a little preview there. I clicked too fast, you couldn't see it, but it goes from uh, 15 income to 20 income, basically more or less. It's a, it's a decent boost. Now, the next thing we want to build is the Town Hall 3. I used to really neglect these upgrades, but they're really, really important. The province annex range is important, unlocking the new province improvements, and more specifically, getting new unit uh, levels, um, because those those are really, really important. You can't go very far with level 1 units in the long term here, especially in the, in the campaign later. But we should definitely keep recruiting stuff because we will lo keep losing things. And um, yeah, so we'll invest a little bit more in our army. Not too much because we still have to uh, do more upgrading things, probably. There's nothing we need to build right here, so that's fine. We get some income. Uh, but we have a lot of slots open. Um, I'm still considering integrating these boys eventually. Uh, but yeah, first our current plan, let's do another turn here. We can now, once our turn is come and gone, it's a little bit confusing sometimes because you can still interact with everything as the turn is happening. So um, yeah, there's a lot of things we could do right now. I'm, I'm a little bit torn between things. We need an outpost here for this. So there's really no way around it. Okay, first let's reorganize our forces. And we want to split out a few of the level 1 units here. These three we're going to put out. Well, actually, I'm going to put these out. And we're going to put this army on top of here. Because we're trying to move up. We're going to take this level 4 here and put it there. And we'll put the silver spears into here. That wasn't actually ideal. We could have done this much better. So I'm not moving the full... Length of what we... Well, actually. We're going to move the full length of what we can move. Because we're going to split our heroes up a little bit. This guy here is going to unlock the Howling Castle. And this guy up here, he's going to go for building an outpost down there. That's basically the, the plan right now. We are not in need of keeping our troops together at this point in time. We're not really under threat from anyone. So let's keep going on our Explorer Boy here. And oh, there's another army man joining our troops. It's very good. A new empire skill is available. Ah, yes. Province improvements grant plus one stability for each adjacent province improvement of the same type, which is fantastic. That doesn't mean the special improvements. That just means the improvements. So farm, farm, farm. Uh, that should give us some bonuses here. So if we look at this on the domain, which means all of the area occupied here whereas the city just means the city proper so if we look in the domain uh farm times three gives us uh, minus 15 because each of them gives us minus five and then we have consolidated industry times three uh which which is what we just picked so we get a plus six out of it again so we kind of offset slightly that's pretty good okay our our watchtower was built here so that's nice. Uh, they uncovered an enemy which is now following them forever and ever and ever. And let's build some... Do we need the stone walls? I'm not quite sure. Hmm. I wonder where this goes. Like, it doesn't go into here. Uh, I don't know where this would even go. Like, who gets the stuff if we don't turn it into a city? Which we're not going to do. Um... Yeah, we're not going to build the walls. It's fine. Eventually, we're going to probably tear this down. It's, it's just there right now. Okay, let's get the crow companions going. Look at that. <laughs> so cute. Where I live, there's a lot of crows, so I, I have a big appreciation for them. And I think we should even see them on the world map. Yeah, see? <laughs> I love that. Okay, let's keep moving. We have tasks ahead of us. Big, big tasks. 
so the spider boy here, he moves out to here, there, and he is followed by his very capable reinforcement troops. And this guy here goes up to the Howling Castle for now. And she needs some movement orders. And yeah, there's some debris in the in the water which we can pick up with him. That's fine. Let's see. Can we trade with you already? No, we cannot. We could boost the allegiance for a little bit of Imperium. But Imperium is precious currently, so we're not going to do that. Ooh, another unit which we can start for. Actually, we're not going to follow them. Uh, we are going to go a little bit... Get a little bit ahead of ourselves, and we're going to recruit a new hero, maybe. If we can afford one. See, now that we have some friends across the world, we can recruit people that aren't actually um, part of our own race. But these are from the allied cities that uh, might be willing to join us. Now we don't have the money and uh, losing 30 gold. My idea was let's let's go a little bit over the limit and just build it. But that's not a good idea, honestly. All right, let's build a levy camp here too. Uh, in our little farmer's edge there. That's a, that's a decent idea. Let's build that. Special improvements are quite strong. It's always worthwhile building them. And let's get the Sundering Blades enchantment going. I don't know how long we could have done that, but there we go. Okay, there's a war between us and Grag. Tour has ended because our friend has integrated this city. Uh, or rather, they are now a vassal, a proper vassal, so... Uh, they are no longer at war with us. So that's nice. And... Another ruler started negotiating, meaning with these boys over here. So if you look at this, I don't see anyone else on there. You should see another, but we're not seeing that. So I don't know what that message was about. <clears throat> So no worries about things being snatched away. Okay, let's see. Okay. Eloquent insult. Uh, it seems Harrington and your empire be becoming a laughing stock regarding its level of education. Very good. So we could invest some money, get some research going. Uh, we could build some builders. Uh, let's, let's get some education going. I don't think that's a bad idea. Costs us money, but that's fine. Alright, let's explore this castle here. And here we get some options, and it's going to be a battle. We could spend some mana to help make this a little bit easier for our troops. But... Hmm. There's a lot of mana to spend here. And it's not a lot of what we get out of it. So let's go in here. And we're going to do an auto combat. Now these are pretty strong. These are 3-3 three, three and a lot of level 1. But these are casters. These are ranged. These are dangerous. So let's see what auto combat comes up with on this. Eh, we lost a whole bunch because honestly this isn't a good setup to fight whatever this was. But I'll take it. That's okay. So, we have taken this and now we get some rewards out of it. We could get a weapon, the Bloody Edge, which looks fantastic. And it's actually going to look like this, too. Um, it's a level 3 primary weapon, a two-handed uh, weapon, which does a whole lot of stuff. It gives a charge attack, that's a base, cancels defense mode, retaliation, that's all kind of normal. Bloody Edge, this is where it gets interesting. Critical hits deal plus 50% and have a... Plus 50 chance to trigger. Hello now. Okay, we could also get some money or some alignment. We, we, we're taking that sword, boys. There's not even a question about that. And um, we need someone to wield that thing. Uh, honestly, we're going to give it to her. She loses her mount. But she gains that really awesome looking sword. And now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to reset the skills. The first time is free. Resetting skills later costs, I believe, Imperium. So let's click this here. 
And now we can do that again. And we want the Lord of Crops again. This is what she does best. And now we want her on fighting. We want sprint still because she needs to get close. We will want sunring strikes, which lessens the effectiveness of the enemy's defenses that she's attacking. And we're still gonna, well, we're not gonna give her blink, we're gonna give her draining blade because that heals us and deals damage, so that's pretty decent. It's a spell, it's not a weapon, but yeah, look at that. That's a fantastic weapon. Another thing to consider, if you lose a hero in battle, they might get imprisoned or become a ghost in the crypt of whoever killed your unit. And all of the equipment they carry is basically lost as well. So, the only exception to that is your ruler. Your ruler will, as, as long as you have your city still, resurrect at your city. If you have neither your ruler nor your city, actually if your city is gone, your main city where you can resurrect your ruler, you're done. Finish. Game is over. Um... So giving your ruler the best stuff is making a lot of sense because you're not going to lose it. Uh, so, well, not at least this way. I don't, I don't think there is another way. You might lose it. So I'm just going to stay halfway confident and say there is no way of losing it. Now, this boy is kind of low now. Uh, let's send him over here to the, to the tower. And there's a little cage so you can pick up a friend. And then we'll just merge him into this army over there. But as I said... Keep building troops because you're just going to lose them. At least if you play like me. And since you're watching this to learn how to play this game, uh, there's, a, there's a solid chance that you're going to play like me. Now, we've unlocked this and we, of course, we want to occupy it because it gives us Imperium. It gives us plus fortification health per quarry in the city domain. And it allows us to um, get Brewer Ogres and Butcher Ogres in the Rally of Legions, which is pretty cool early on anyway. And uh, it gives us 20 um, thinking. <laughs> so that's that's a pretty strong thing. These are pretty strong. You want those. Uh, if, if you can get them, you want those. Right. Uh, orders required. Yeah, I wanted to set him on this. Very good. And now we're just going to let him auto-explore. We, we've seen everything we wanted to see up here. There's just ocean there. Uh, it's not going to be all that interesting anymore. Um, okay, so... Minus 10 city stability for plus 20 draft and plus 20 production. Ah, uh, that's that's insane. Ooh, new tool. Let's see. What do we want? Amplification could be interesting. Mayhem could be interesting. Uh, Mark of Misfortune is pretty amazing, honestly. Uh, you, all your troops basically lead to the enemy hitting less or worse. Um, there's some good stuff here. But... We'll keep with what we got, kind of. So, we're going to go green or we're going to go orange. So, what do we have on orange? Artifice. Ooh, that's good. Plus 30% critical hit chance. Oh, I love this one. Uh, there's really no option for me. I'm sorry. I love crit. And with a 50%... My, my. Good. Oh, yes. Uh, spell ready for the Sundering Blades. Eight upkeep. We can afford it. So, let's do it. Uh, no great visual upgrade there. We've received a message. What do you want? Uh, okay, just happy with what we're doing. Uh, good, 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 good lad. Good lad. Can we do something with you? Or we could try for a defensive pact. And they want that, so let's have a deal here. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Can we share vision, maybe? And also, more importantly, because we are going to do this in a moment. Uh, province claiming pact. So we can both, without negative impact, uh, claim provinces near each other. So that's pretty good. Let's see. Cinderhold. No one's talking to you, huh? Let's spend some Imperium so we can be the ones talking to you. This costs 75. This costs 100. So we're going to take this one from that line, basically. Uh, so now let's... Give you guys a whispering stone. I just like making friends if no one else is making friends with them. Uh, I, I feel that's always a pretty, pretty decent idea. All right. So we accomplished a whole lot here. Uh, our our ally is much more ally-ish now. So that's pretty cool. Um, and as I said, we want to build an outpost here right next to his. So uh, that's, that's a lot of sensible 
stuff going on here. Hidden garden might be interesting too. Uh, our hero still can't move at this turn, so let's just keep turning a little bit. And now we move here, and we check, is this the right... Nope, that's not the right one. We need to put the outpost here, so we're not going to be able to reach this, sadly. Um, so, But we could already start the battle if we use these units to instigate it. And they're like, no. Oh, poor boys. They don't want to. Alright, so we need to put our outpost there, basically. That's what we're going to do. And this boy here, uh, first he goes pick up this. He gets a little spider friend, which we'll, which we'll put there. And then they combine, and then they can come closer again. Oh, that's good. All right. Now, what are we building? No troops. That's not good. Definitely want troops. We lost a bunch of those, so let's build some more. And out here, we still have something in the pipeline. That's okay. Let's end our turn. So let's put these boys here, build that outpost, and uh, there's some claims here from the free cities and stuff. Uh, Tania Greyblood, it's it's this lady who doesn't like us all that much because we keep taking her stuff. Uh, but that's just that's just how it is, lady. That is just how it is and how it's gonna be. So we build that outpost and we're gonna go explore the hidden garden and we're gonna explore the slitherous den down there. And we're going to bring out our troops. Now, something to note about exploring these. You can only send one hero in there. Um, this is already claimed. But a distant claim. So I'm not entirely sure if she went in there. Doesn't matter. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll go in there. We will go in there. Now, let's consider this again. We can't afford it. But we can afford it next turn to integrate them. And I think we might. Honestly. I think we might. Let us. We also get their hero unit, so uh, that's pretty cool. We don't get that with founding our own city. Uh, let's move these up a little bit because we want to merge these armies. Oh, yes. Artisan armaments. Yes, yes, yes. Siege magic is also quite cool. Plus 10% on all magic. Um, this is kind of nice. Your, your first choice there in how you are and what you are gives you something and... Everyone gets like this unit enchantment spell where you can get that onto units that aren't of your race. Uh, so the Signet of Knighthood is just that. And I believe we'll, we'll just uh, research this. When a free city is vassalized. Uh, good to know. I, did someone now talking to you? Yeah, okay. There's another shield there. Uh, oh, damn it. Yeah, we we can, we uh, that that works. We still get to integrate the other city, so we we just want to be quicker here than than white lady there. A new rally has started. Oh yes, and now we can get the butcher and the brewer ogre, uh, who are pretty neat, I think. They're not amazing, but I think they're neat. So gonna get this and that. Always have to be a little bit on the lookout for how much they cost in upkeep. Especially on the on the mana front. We don't have all that much mana at the moment. Another ruler started negotiation. We met another ruler. Who are you? Are you one of mine? No. I don't know who you are. That's fine. Okay, let's end our turn. And send our hero into the hidden garden. There we go. All objective is completed. Very good. Focus crystal. Uh, nightfall returns us. At last, our fabled weapon will return to battle. The blue-blooded toads will stand triumphant. And you are in our debt. Now we can be like, okay, glory to everyone. And everyone gets... Uh, swayed. Only the blue-blooded toads, which doesn't really matter. They already love us. Uh, we can send our smiths there. Uh, we could train him to rank up. Adamas Vau. Is that our main ruler? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Uh, no, I think that's our hero there. Uh, let's, let's train him up. 
Oh, that is us. Cool. Do we get this? Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, we also got this weapon now. Interesting. I didn't know that, that worked. Also affects... I mean, that's a really good weapon. But we. I think we have a better one. I, re I just really... I'm sorry. I really like the 50%... The <sighs> Crit hit is just... I know this is technically a tier above. If you press Alt, you can conf uh, compare. I will just give it to the other guy or whoever we're going to get in a moment. Uh, let's go explore this. And it's a trap attack. We'll do that. And we'll do some auto combat. But I want to see the replay to see if the crit hits trigger as I expect them to do so we can only really speed this up we'll speed it along until troops are actually getting into combat here always looks a little bit scary when your troops are being pummeled in the first round and you might even lose one or two but then it quickly kind of turns oh yeah that was a bad bad hit Almost destroyed the unit in one strike. That's crazy. Okay, let's turn it down a little bit now that we got action going. Alright, uh, our spiders are currently mind controlled by these boys back there. So that's not ideal for us. And instead of... Swinging our big badass blade, he summoned some spiders. Okay, fine. That's that's a move to do. More units on the field, more safe. Did we really lose that much? I, I can't remember quite. Uh, they have to move away from our dog to to do something again. And whoa! <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't even a crit. That was just a regular hit. My God, the damage! Oh yeah, he dies, but he probably revived because we won the battle in the end. That's his resurgence thing. And 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 once <laughs> oh, that was a crit. My Lord, that is some fantastic power. Crazy stuff. I'm I'm usually not that lucky with stuff like that, but my lord. Okay, that was the uh, that was the assassin's blade thingy. All right, nice, well done. So, uh, what can we get? Some food. We could get a nymph, which we just saw in battle, who's pretty decent. Uh, she can seduce and she can revitalize, and she has some attacks, and she's level three. Uh, we'll. we'll <laughs> She's probably going to be very high in upkeep, but I think we got. Oh, ugh, that's 20 in upkeep. Are you kidding me? Okay, we definitely have to integrate them now. So we'll do that. Something to note here um, is that sometimes you definitely get more out of this by annexing them. Uh, so, or integrating them, as it were. Now, we just cleared this, so we're definitely going to take this to get the plus Imperium and the plus food on it. Um, but you will have to grow your cities more or less at the same pace as you grow everything else. Because eventually you're going to not be able to afford your infrastructure and your troops and everything that you will need. You need to grow in this game. Uh, you can't be stagnant. There is one playstyle, there's one way, uh, one type of preset basically where you can get away with uh, with just one city and you can't even build more that's pretty cool too i like that i, I did it once and i really enjoyed that um but it's not even scary because you know that you need to grow you need to be big you need to be vast um to really stand a chance uh, later on and yeah it's a bit scary okay can Merge these two. It's now six. Perfect. Perfect. 
Uh, where do we want to go next? What do we want to do next? Really not much to do here. Um, so we're not going to do much, <laughs> really. Uh, I don't I don't really need this. We're going to wait until we can occupy this area from this city. And then we're just going to raise it. So for now, we just leave it there. We're not going to do much with it. Uh, instead, what we're going to do is... Who's this? Just a free city, huh? Uh, they're being integrated by someone right now. Hmm. What could we do with our heroes? So it's a conundrum. Let's consolidate. Let's bring our troops together because eventually I think we're going to start something here or she's going to start something with us. So we might want to be prepared for that. Actually. What we could do, I haven't done that yet, uh, but we could start uh, fabricate a claim here. Uh, actually, we can't. I don't see the option. There we go. We could uh, fabricate a grievance and then basically start our war based on that. And that would be pretty cool. And they're only at peace with everyone. No one really likes them enough to be friends. So uh, I think we're going to invest this. Fabricate a grievance. I'll do that. And then we'll just wage war against them. And so what we want to do is... We have two direct targets. First, let's build this out, actually. We want the stone walls here, so it holds a little bit more against the direct attack. So we have two direct strategic targets. We have this here, which might be taken by our ally if they join us in the war. Um, and we have the underground route. And I think that's what we want to do. So let's move our troops in preparation up to the underground passage there, where our uh, outpost is. He can't move anymore this turn, so that's fine. They can't move anymore this turn either, but we need some more troops here. Uh, we'll wait for this to finish, because then we can build knights, which is good. Uh, we need to set this man here to be the ruler. Oh, I think we have two uh, lords of the manor, which shouldn't be possible, but since we kind of integrated him. It is apparently possible. So that's really good because we definitely need the mana. Speaking of which, uh, we can't afford anything. So we're not <laughs> building anything. Which is why sometimes it can be good to queue up a little bit longer. So you don't get into that situation that we're in right now. Um, we'll build over out here. And we'll take the mines. Which are occupied right now. But pff, why do we care? So we'll build the mines here. Yep, that's fine. The free city is not going to like us for it, but we're working on changing that a little bit. And the town hall is now produced. And I can't build anything because, well, a hero leveled up. Very good. Which one is it? It's our defender. Action! <laughs> Yeah, let's give him good breaker. He gets the big thing, the real big thing. Um, yeah, that's okay. And we'll turn him into a fighting boy more. And he gets rallying blessing. Yeah, he gets rallying blessing. Some some bolstering, some defensive. And we get what here? Completing a province annexation summons an animal of. Something that befits there. That's pretty cool. We're going to try and save up for this. Negotiations are fine. Treaty has expired because we annexed them. And that's really it. So we integrated our friends here that we boxed in before. Uh, but now we're just going to grow out in this direction. And that direction is going to be fine. And uh, now we're just trying to build up a little bit more. Gain some resources. Prepare for a potential war against... Tania Grey Blood. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you got any questions down in the comments, please. And see you around next time. Until then, bye bye.